Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys two examples on how to convert from radians to degrees, and I'll show you guys two examples on how to convert from degrees back to radians. Let's look at the first one. Here we have pi over 15, and here's the deal. When we see the pi, it's usually understood to be we are talking about radians. So you don't have to write down the RAD for radians, okay? You don't have to do that. And now this is how we convert this into degrees. We can just multiply this by 180 degrees over pi, and pi means you know, pi radius. You don't have to put on the RAD or radius, the word. So because you know pi radius and 180 degrees are the same, so really we are just multiplying by one, okay? And then once you know what to multiply, you can just cancel things out. So you see the pi cancel each other out nicely. And now we can just do 180 divided by 15, right? Another way to look at this is, you can say 15 goes into 15 one time, and 15 goes into 180 12 times. And in the end, we see 12 for the answer, and we still have degrees for the units. So 12 degrees, that's it. For this one, negative 7 pi over 3, it's the same deal. We multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. First of all, pi cancel each other out, and then we can reduce, right? 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 8, uh, 180 60 times. And then this is negative 7 times 60, we get negative 420, and we still have degrees. So this is it. Now, we will do it backwards. Convert this degrees to radians. First of all, we have 400 degrees. To get back to radians, we can just multiply by the reciprocal of this, right? So in another word, we multiply by pi radians, okay, over 180 degrees. And you see, this makes sense because the degrees, the unit, cancel each other out, right? And yes, we will have to do fractions. This is just 400 over 180. You can reduce the fraction. You can do it by hand, like how we did earlier. Or you can use your calculator. Let me show you. If you have a graphing calculator like this, all you have to do is the following, okay? So I will just have to put down 400 divided by 180, because the 400 was on numerator and 180 is on the denominator. Press enter, and you get decimal, but most of the time we prefer to have fraction, and this is how you do it. Go to math, and then select the first option, which is frac. And my students usually tell me that, you know, just go frac it. So you just frac this, and enter, enter. You get 20 over 9. This right here is the answer. 20 over 9. So, for the fraction ones, this is just 20 over 9. And don't forget the pi. Notice I didn't put on the pi on the calculator because otherwise you get decimal. You leave the pi as how it is. Just work out the fractions, okay? And when you see the pi, it's understood to be radians, okay? Most of the time like that. So that's how you can deal with uh, fractions if you don't want to reduce it on your own. Lastly, let's look at 330 degrees. Well, we can do the same thing. Multiply by pi over 180 degrees, right? This time, let's do it by <laughs> calculators, up to you, or uh, by hand, up to you. Let's do it by hand this time. So to do so, let's say we know, well, 30 goes into this 11 times, and 30 goes into this 6 times, right? So in the end, you get 11 pi over 6. You can put the pi on the top or on the side, doesn't really matter. So 11 pi over 6, just like that. Well, just to check our answer, if you would like, 330 divided by 180, enter, and then go to math, and then fraction, enter, and then you get 11 over 6, just like that. And as you can see, that is it. And you can leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful though. That's it.